Hello my fellow outlaws! Today we have quite the doozy of a video, because today we will be learning how to play as NPC John through the help of RDR Save Editor. Just letting you know, this video is a lot longer than what I normally do because we have a lot to unpack. So fasten your seatbelts! First off, here is a list of the things you will need. To begin this process, first go to your wardrobe and equip one of the pre-made outfits, such as the Summer Gunslinger. Next, go visit the barber and select the Extra Clean Shaven option. If you haven't unlocked this yet, then just select the Clean Shaven option. Once you've finished pimping out your character, now it's time to head over to your PS4 settings. From there, go to Application Save Data Management, and then after that, go to Save Data and System Storage. Now select the save that you want to modify. With that done, take out your USB device and then head over to your computer. Once you've opened up Save Wizard, find your selected save and open it in advanced mode. When the save does open, go to the top right corner and select the Export File option. After saving the file, minimize Save Wizard and then open up RDR Save Editor. When the editor opens, Select the Open Save button. As a safety precaution, I highly recommend making a backup. When your save loads in, go to the Custom Outfit tab. From the drop-down menu, go down to Unknown 1. This is where the hair codes go. Next, you'll want to type in this code. To ensure John's original hair stays on the model, go to the Barber tab. Under the Hair section, select Bald. With the combination of the altered code and the bald option, this will keep Marston's hair on the model. To remove the satchel from the model, go to Satchels and type in the exact same code from earlier. To keep the facial hair from growing back out, go to the Barber option again, and this time select Clean Shaven. Just as a neat side note, you can add neckwear and hats onto your NPC models. For fun, I used Unknown Slot 12 to put John's high neckerchief onto his NPC model. Anyway, to change to John's NPC model, go to the Ped Changer in the top right corner. In the Type drop-down box, go to Cutscenes. Then find John's name. Since NPC models have horrible health, I highly recommend setting your cores to infinite. If there's nothing left to customize, then save your file. Now it's time to go back to your Minimize Save Wizard window. This time, however, use the Import File option. After that, just select the file you just modified. All that's left to do on our computers is press Apply. Now let's head back over to our PS4s. Just like earlier, go to Settings and then down to Application Save Data Management. This time, however, we're going to view the save data on our USB storage device. Then copy the save you just altered. When this shows up, press yes. Now it's time to load into our game. Keep in mind that you still need to refresh your save once you've loaded into the game. Now when you do first load into the game, the result will be a little bit shocking. But there's a fix for it, I promise. However, you will always load into your game like this. That's why it's imperative to have a story mission available so the cinematic scenes can fix it. What we need to do next is go to the nearest story mission. After the cinematic is over and you've regained control, press left on the D-pad. From there, select the active mission and then press the abandon button. Now choose the restart option. When the mission starts back up again, John should be completely normal. If he's not, then cancel the mission. You can also use this method for some of the other NPC models. If you follow the customization steps correctly, then John should keep his original hair throughout the cutscenes. As a reminder, I still haven't learned how to put John's NPC hair onto any other models. Now that you know the process, the rest of the video will be spent on the bugs, glitches, and inconsistencies when you play as NPC John. Also some tips. As long as you avoid clothing items from the stores, your NPC model will remain intact. But, the moment that you add any additional wear, he'll turn into this weird combination of Arthur and John. When you finish a story mission, some of John's voice lines will become active in your game. Doing okay, girl. 
As long as you haven't messed with the outfit, you can still take baths with John, as long as you don't mind him wearing his clothes while doing so. Speaking of water, unlike Epilogue John, NPC John can swim! If John dies on your free-roaming adventures, thankfully he'll respawn normally. However, this is not the case when you are playing through story missions. When you die during a story mission, and you haven't messed with your outfit at all, John will come back as Ripped Pants McGee. But you can thankfully fix this by dying again, and he'll come back as normal. Even during the main story of the game, you can still travel to New Austin with NPC John. Since we've covered some of the pros and tips, now it's unfortunately time to go over the cons. First off on our list is combat. While playing as an NPC, your auto-aim will be calibrated differently. Even the overall shooting style is different. It's especially wonky while using repeaters or rifles. However, the most inconvenient aspect is the fact that you have to reload behind cover, which can cause a multitude of problems for certain mission scenarios, especially ones that require a scoped rifle. The second con is the fact that Deadeye is disabled while playing as an NPC model. This may not seem like a problem for some, but it definitely can cause a lot of issues while playing a story mode mission. Even though some Deadeye mission moments work out fine, there will be others that will require you to skip the checkpoint. Another issue is that some of the missions may not run as smoothly as they normally do. This happens sometimes because the game gets confused by the presence of two Johns and one mission. Basically, it won't know where to place John in certain cutscenes. Thankfully, as shown earlier, this does not apply to all of the missions, including John. The next problem on our list is, in my opinion, the most inconvenient one. It's a little difficult to explain, so bear with me. In some cinematics, John's hair will go absolutely crazy, specifically whenever he's wearing Arthur's hat. But this is the most minute gripe within this whole category of issues. If you alter your outfit in any fashion, even if it's to put on a bandana for a cinematic scene, when you reload your game, John will be Arthur again. If your hat gets shot off, or you pick it back up, or put on a different hat, that is considered altering your outfit. So if you die during a story mission, or retry the checkpoint, John will be replaced with Arthur again. But you can fix this by restarting the mission, which can be a big inconvenience. When you do restart, he should go back to normal. If he doesn't, then unfortunately that means you have to go back into RDR Save Editor. All you have to do is switch to a different model. After that, save your file. When the file successfully saves, go back to the list of ped models and then reselect John again. Now John should be implemented back into your save. Lastly, our final issue is that not all of the epilogue missions will work with NPC John. The reason for this is because the game still recognizes the model as Arthur. And if you've seen any of Arthur Morgan Gaming's videos of playing as Arthur in the epilogue, you'll understand that not all of the cinematic scenes are compatible with Arthur's model. This is especially disheartening considering that John's actual voice lines are used in the epilogue. But hey, at least most of the main story missions work out just fine. Well, my fellow PS4 users, it appears this is the closest we'll ever get to playing with the original John Marston, which definitely frustrates me considering how much I love the first game. But I'm going to try to make the most out of it, and I hope you guys can too, especially since Rockstar doesn't seem to be planning on changing anything anytime soon. Anyway, cowpokes, that wraps up another video. I wish you the best of luck, and most importantly, have fun.